it's about time for me to change the chain on my bike and I figured I would film a quick video and show you guys how I check my chain and change it. A lot of people talk about chain stretch and the chain isn't actually stretching. What's happening is all the metal parts, they're rubbing up against each other constantly, wearing each other down and so there starts to be a little bit of play in the chain. Now if you don't check your chain and get it changed on time, what's going to happen is it's going to start to wear your gears out and that becomes a much more expensive fix than just putting a new chain on it. So I'm going to use the Park Tool CC2 Chain Checker to determine if it's time to change my chain. I'll show you how I do that. So the tool has these pins on either end. I'm going to place those between a couple of the chain links and then this has a little number indicator that will tell me how worn out my chain is. So I'll start with it at zero. I don't ever want to have it hit more than 0.5 on my bike. That can be different depending on how many gears you've got, but that's how it's set. So, I'm going to set the pins in there with this set to zero, and then from the back I'm going to push this forward, and I want to push it till it stops, but I don't want to force it super hard and jam it in there. And mine is right about at 50, which is maybe even just a little bit past, so it's a perfect time to change this chain. This is a SRAM chain, and they use Masterlink, so I don't have to use a chain breaker to pull this apart. I just need this nifty little tool to pop it open. I forgot, I want to shift this all the way down to the hardest gear before I take this off. I'm going to push this forward and put the pin in to take the tension off of there. And here's my Masterlink. So to snap this apart, I just want to squeeze this together, like so and it comes apart. Because every bike is a little bit different, I need to make sure that this chain is measured to the right length for my bike. So I'm going to hang on to this old one so that I can set the length of my new chain to match that. Unless you have an extremely large bike, these chains are going to have a few extra links in it. So you do want to make sure that you check this and assume that you'll probably have to remove a couple. So I've matched these end to end. And right there is where I need to take the pin out to make these the same length. So I'm going to use my chain breaker to remove the last couple links. So this threaded part pushes the pin all the way through. There's kind of an initial pop when it first pops the pin out and then you have to continue um, turning that in to push the pin all the way out. All right. Just going to back that out. Now my chain is the correct length and it's ready to go on the bike. Now I've got my new master link to go with my new chain. So I'll place one in that direction and the other one goes on this side. It is so nice that these SRAM derailers have that pin that can take the tension off. This would be so much harder if I was fighting the chain right now. It's nice having all this slack. I'm going to line these up. You can see the pins go in there. And then I'm going to use this little tool here to stretch it back out and pop that to the outer side of that. You can tell I'm a pro. And now I'm going to pull these apart, pop it in. There we go. Now I'm just going to pop that pin out. Voila! So just kind of double checking now that this is on here to make sure that my chain isn't still too long. I'm just going to check and make sure that nothing is rubbing. Because if this wasn't the right length and holding this in the right position, this would swing further up and this chain would start to rub things under there. But everything looks good. So I think I did it. I just want you guys to know that I'm not an amazing bike mechanic. Uh, this isn't necessarily meant to be like an incredible how-to video. I just wanted to show uh, any of you who are not working on your bikes that if I can learn to do some of this stuff, you guys can too. There's something to be said for starting to learn how your bike works. Even if you ride with your husband or a boyfriend or friends that kind of help you through that, 
I really uh, encourage you to start learning and understanding how your bike works. I still don't know everything, but I'm learning. And it's really empowering that if a chain comes off or things like that happen on the side of the trail, to know that I can get my chain back on. So uh, stay dusty, my buddies, and don't be afraid to get your hands a little greasy and uh, try your hand at bike mechanics.